I mean, I would blame everything on God, you know, throughout my life. Everything that happened in my life. My life was pretty crazy from like day one, since age four on, pretty much on up. I was mad, I was mad. But blaming God for my pain and my loss only made me run away from him, which made my pain greater. It's one of Satan's greatest tricks, taking someone who's already broken in pain, convincing them to run away from God. Let's get into this video. Cartel got me working for the big faces. Federally got my car full of brick cases. Hit the pin with a grin, there ain't no faking. I was picked to my back for my shoelaces. Got out, should've seen the look on they faces. All jealous cause your boy stacking hella paper. Set up by the crew, they done put a banger. In the trunk of my car and left me to hang there. No thing, then attorney went and beat the case. Got a job digging holes for minimum wage. Had a dream that Cato said he proud of me. Stay here, don't leave, keep doing your thing. Quit the drugs, but you know I Went back to selling, six time failing. I went back to prison, got my head right, got my bread right. Push these weights like a kilo in a tailpipe. Trying to do right, I got a mission. Trying to get back to my boys in the prison. The old me's gone, I ain't never. What's up guys, my name is JC, I am Wrong and Strong. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss nothing. If you're part of my team, mi familia, mi raza, you already know what time it is. Suelta la suburba, because we're about to go see Jesus. <laughs> Man, all in your name, all in your glory. Thank you, Jesus. And I hear this all the time. If God is really all powerful, then he could have stopped everything that happened to me, right? In God's all powerful nature, he created human beings to have the capacity for a loving relationship with him. But that's what catch is it's the, it's a choice and for that the love has to be real in a broken world where most is fake we had to have the ability to choose whether or not we wanted a relationship with him in the first place and where there's choice Obviously, you have sin, and where there's sin, you'll always find pain. For God to use his all-powerful nature to stop tragedy we're facing, it would pretty much require removing the choice from the whole equation, and that would remove real love, like genuine love. That's pretty hardcore if you ask me. That's like, like gangster for Jesus, <laughs> you know? Like, especially if you're from the streets and you've, you've heard it, you've, you've been through it, you know? You've been through the ringer. I know you're hurting and God doesn't, doesn't like it when you hurt. To, but to blame God for your pain and loss only drives you further away from him. I smile for a reason. I was lost just like the rest of everybody else. I was living in such a way of sin that, you know, it's, yeah, to the fullest, to the fullest. And from the morning to the nighttime, straight just sin throughout my whole life. 
I'm not forcing myself to like live this way or try to be this way or no, this is all, this is me. I'm, I'm happy and at peace today. Do I have my moments? Yeah, I'm not perfect, but this is my life today and I choose it every day. Today, I trust that God is always true to his word and that will be some kind of good that comes out of any situation. You know, there was a, there was a time that I got beat up really, really bad, 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 bad. And the gang pretty much ran the whole, the whole unit. Well, they were getting ready to transfer me once I got out the hospital and everything. I was, I was shackled up, my hands, my legs, everything. I was all chained up, getting ready to get transferred get put into a van. They sound the alarm because because something happened and what these guys did, they stuck me in a room with 30 of the guys that I had just got into a fight with, right? I went in there mad dogging everybody, giving everybody dirty looks, pretending to be tough. And I walked all the way to the back and sat in the back to show them that I had no fear in my heart, even though I was literally pooping in my pants. It was the best acting job I ever had done. It was the best one, best one. And I'll tell the story one day, but when they pulled me out of there, an hour later, I was telling myself, man, you see how tough you are? <laughs> you see how they were just shaking in their boots? Do you see how, man. And it's so easy to fall into that. It's so, so easy because of our, our just, our broken, we're broken. We're just, we're flesh, we're, sin, we're sinners by nature. It was God that was protecting me that day. He was protecting me. He made sure that I walked out of there alive and well. There was a purpose for my life. Today, I understand that. God is making you stronger every moment of your struggle. This is not the end. It's just a chapter in a long story that God is writing in your life. So, you guys know me. I just share what I'm learning and what I'm going through. Let's walk the yard. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. Please forgive me and come into my life. Find a church, get disciple, fall in love with Jesus. Hey, you'll see. You'll see, it's a money back guarantee. You'll see what he'll start doing in your life, in you and through you. My name is JC, I am Wrong and Strong. Hey, don't judge nobody, stay in your lane, live savage, and remember, live for him. Catch you guys on the rebound.